this is a uh, Pete's 90 series 1kz T diesel it's a 2002 model and uh, she is very well kitted out so got Pete here with me obviously and 460,000 k's on it now 460 yeah yeah all right yeah, so all right. was bog stock when I got it yep so uh, let's go through and start from your uh, let's go through the bar work I guess Bull bar in. with winch went on first and then um, brush bars side steps and I had the rear bar custom made in Perth Perth yep by who? that uh, not cheap but uh, good quality well, yep. who made the bar? Uh, Slinky Customs Slinky in uh, Customs. in okay. Cannington. Cool. No yeah. Worries. So uh, that's uh, got a rear winch in it. Um, twin uh, tyre carriers and uh, bracket to hold the gas bottle and chainsaw. Keep it out of the car. Yep. So we've got the the rear winch in the bar. Uh, and of course he's got the Cruiser Customs um, Cust shelf that's strapped to your wheel carrier yeah. as well. So let's go through the bar here. So your rear winch, it's right there. Obviously bin, bin bag or rubbish bag, wheel bag, whatever you want to call it, on the back. And yeah, cool. We put a snorkel on it. Um, we've then put uh, a heap of uh, money into suspension. Yep. If we look at, well, front suspension is now Terrain Tamer uh, Remote Res Adjustable Shocks with King Springs. Kind of hard to see, can't really show that, but that's fine. In there, yep. Rear is uh, 80 series level springs with uh, Dobinson MRA shocks. Which are 120 Prado shocks in the rear. Yeah. And I've only recently put a new set of Maxxis Razor MT tyres on it. Tires, yep. yeah, so what's your uh, thoughts on the Comforces that you had? <laughs> no good. No, no good. good. Let go in the wet. <laughs> Let go in the wet? Yeah. Not very very scary to be honest. As you can see these are com forces on the spares and, and uh, not they're very not in really good condition at all. They've worn uneven, they uh, noisy uh, and uh, very scary and wet one wet bitumen but yep. that's okay, that's what you find out after you uh, get them. Yep. <laughs> I guess we'll uh, pop the bonnet and see, uh, see what's under the front. Well, yeah. All your custom gear under there. Obviously in Australia we run a UHF radio. So that's just UHF antenna on the bull bar there. And uh, that's a mount for your sand flag. There is a catch can. Uh, turbo boost. Power shower. Um, what is it, a heat exchanger for a shower, one through the heater. Uh, winch solenoid pack with a uh, wireless controller that just runs from, straight from the wireless controller in the car. Off the factory dual batteries as well. Those dual batteries are linked together for starting batteries. The diff breathers up the back. It pretty much covers it for under the under the bonnet. Yeah, it's still it's, the standard top mount intercooler. Yeah, there's not a lot you can do, but this was where the problem was with the wiring that we had in the last few days, and uh, lucky the uh, the bike found it and was able to repair it fairly quickly. Yeah, so if everyone is wondering about that, a mouse chewed the wiring, <laughs> and it completely disabled the throttle control. So. 
Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that, was, that, was that gave me some uh, interesting hours. Yeah. Oh, for sure, I <laughs> <man. laughs> Now, it's the, probably the uh, inside of this, although I've put a, I've put a three inch uh, Scots Rods exhaust on it. Yep. And uh, it's proved to be very, uh, very good in that regard. But the inside is probably where we've done most of the work. 11 litre Waco fridge in the middle there for drinks on the go. Yep. Uh, iPad for off road maps. Uh, dash cam. Uh, UHF radio. A remote temperature gauge for the back fridge. Yep. And the cargo barrier here has got uh, the uh, Black Widow, all the pockets there, very, very, very handy, right where I want oh, it. That's a Black Widow one as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And two uh, fire extinguishers, one each side, uh, air compressor uh, hose behind the seat, but we've uh, made a custom uh, T-piece uh, overhead console with a hat rack. Um, there's only room for me in here. In the back there's no back seats. Uh, it's full. It's full. Absolutely full. So, uh, tool bag, uh, recovery tracks, um, freezer, yep, oven, uh, Ryobi uh, battery charger, all my air gauges for diff locks and pump up, let down, air blower, everything is there. Uh, very easy to get to. We'll open these wheel carriers. And we have two drawers. All a lot of gear in there. That's recover, recovery gear and electric drills and so forth. All my cooking gear and utensils. Uh, three uh, milk crates up the top there. Two, there's two uh, two camp ovens. There's hoses. There's uh, water pumps to pump from a creek into the into the water drums, dr uh, water tanks in the side, or, or three three twenty litre jerry cans. There's a table sitting here that, when those milk crates are out, that just slides out and goes up under the awning. Uh, sixty litre King's fridge. It's the biggest I could get in there, <laughs> but it's, it's probably. Half an inch too big. Half an inch too big. Well, a quarter matter. of an inch too big, to be yeah. honest. But uh, <laughs> it's a it's a beautiful fridge. It's it's huge, and I use it totally as a fridge because I got the drawer freezer. Uh, where else do we go? We oh, there's a there's a heap of uh, charging ports and uh, switches and so forth for lights and uh, up in the tent and all the rest of it. Um, when we get around to this side we have the full pantry in here and that's got all my uh, eats and so forth everything is uh, handy I'll pull that one out that one slides forward and backward on this mm -hmm. one and uh, I take this one out as well and that gives me access to the bottom one there's so in under the there there's an air tank and behind that air tank is two 120 amp hour full river AGM batteries, deep cycle oh, okay. batteries. Yeah, yeah. So, which you can't see, but they're there. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're fully protected. They uh, they run all the fridges and all the accessories. Yep. So I don't uh, take anything out of the start batteries. The two batteries link together under the bonnet for starting and winching. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, the solar screens, magnificent. Yep. I uh, 
they, they will drop the interior of the car, the temperature inside the car by about 10 degrees, easy. Yeah. Most. And, and the good thing about those is if you are looking at doing a build where you want to sleep inside your, your 90, yep. or your four wheel drive in general, they'll 100% block out your light. So, Absolutely. And you can get them yep. for the front windscreen too, and the front windows. So it's Now I suppose cool. if we have a break, I'll set up the uh, the awning and the tent, mm -hmm. and uh, we can have a look at that. Yep. So, That's uh, for, for luxury camping. Luxury camping? <laughs> for luxury people, <laughs> hey? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we're back with you in a second, we'll get it all set up. The King's Rooftop Tent, the Mark III, uh, I love it, it's mm. easy to set up, just uh, got the um, got a cage on the top for firewood that I collect during the day, a 250 watt solar panel on the uh, front of it, and uh, then the 270 degree Darcy awning, and uh, the whole setup suits me down to the ground. That's right, and it works well. Uh, yeah, works really well. Works well. The uh, the table sets up plenty of uh, plenty of table area. I don't think there's a lot more, really. I reckon you covered everything. So, but it's a um, it's a penthouse on wheels. Yeah, basically. And uh, if you're going to live out of it for six months at a time, you want it to be fairly comfortable which is uh, yep. what I set it up to do. And it will do, like the, the car has got bo both diffs are, uh, are airlocked. So they, it'll, it'll go anywhere. That's it. And, uh, but I don't want to do it, any of that hard stuff. I, I just want to be able to get to those pristine campsites and then enjoy the tranquility that they provide. That's it. That's, that's like me. I'm the same as well. So yeah, <coughs> and uh, that's why we uh, hit it off so well. We've got the same uh, outlook. Yep. And uh, love this quiet out in the middle of nowhere. We are. Tell me, we are out in the middle of nowhere. Basically, well, nothing here. So. And quiet as a yeah. So if you have any questions, guys, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll ask Pete and I'll relay them back to you. Because, uh, <laughs> I'll see if I can answer them. <laughs> well, he might even be able to jump on YouTube there and answer them for yourself in the comments. So <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> Easy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.